hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial i will guide you about the scaffolding uh, scaffolding is a code generation framework for asp.net web applications uh, visual studio 2013 include pre-installed code generator uh, for mvc and web api project you can add scaffolding to your project when you want to quickly add code and uh, uh, interact with the data models uh, using scaffolding can reduce the amount of time to develop the standard data operation in your project as you have seen that uh, uh, we have created use for index and create uh, uh, in my previous video tutorials and uh, uh, you need to update auction method uh, as well but ASP.NET and MVC provide an easier way to create all these views and action method using scaffolding. Uh, let's take a look on this example. We have already created a, a sample and empty project. Now, uh, what we will do, uh, we will add the entity framework support. Okay, so first uh, stop the application, and here you have to go to the Megit Manager and search for entity okay so we don't have installed the entity framework now go to the browse and search for entity framework and then uh, here is the entity framework click here to install that and hit ok and accept okay uh, now uh, here is a finish appears it's mean that uh, entity framework is configured uh, correctly okay uh, now add a model by right clicking on a model so model is a class go to here and add the class okay so we have already added the class with the name of uh, employee for my previous video tutorial uh, what I will do I will add another parameter which is uh, uh, age okay uh, so here is the age. now we have three parameter id name and age uh, we have now employ model now we need to add another class which will communicate with the entity framework to, to retrieve and save the data uh, let's add that uh, I will simply uh, create a class here okay this is the employee DB context class uh, inherited by the DB context and this is the DB set uh, with the type of employee model and it will get and set the data of whole employee model including ID name and age uh, as you can see uh, it is derived from I have uh, uh, recently derived it from uh, entity framework class known as uh, DB context. In this class, we have one property with the name DB set, uh, which basically represents the entity which you want to query and save. Now build a solution, and uh, you will uh, see the message that successfully built. Uh, here we have a build and build solution okay it uh, it's take a uh, while time uh, now add a scaffolded item to add that uh, uh, here we got the message that uh, it is successfully built and uh, to add that uh, you have to click on a controller and uh, after the controller uh, here add and click on controller uh, it will display the add scaffolding uh, dialog uh, you, here you have to search for the controller with views using entity framework okay and hit enter uh, now you have to uh, declare the model class and also the data context class so here is the uh, employee db which is that uh, context class and uh, now uh, we have said that uh, we want to generate reviews 
and uh, we don't have a specific layout so we don't want to use that and uh, now we will create the controller with the name of employees controller first we have the employee controller and now we have the employees controller and hit add uh, we have click add to continue and you will see the uh, code will generated in the employees controller which is created by the visual studio uh, using scaffolding in which index details and create delete uh, and all the validations and forgery tokens uh, were automatically created and this is the real beauty of uh, visual studio which will uh, optimize your whole time instead of writing the code by all okay so we don't need this so here is the employees controller uh, and uh, here is the DB uh, sample uh, object is automatically created and each and everything is automatically settled okay and uh, we don't even need to uh, play with any kind of code it will automatically create the uh, whole crude application by just creating the model and context class we have created a whole crude application with just a couple of clicks i hope you will found this video tutorial informative if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel take care bye bye